Today, dozens of Mainers from Afghanistan gathered in Portland to make their voices heard, demanding the U.S. step up its efforts in Afghanistan. We don't want Taliban. With voices raised we want peace. and hearts broken. Again, people have been resilient. Those in Maine's We're Afghan better. community We're gather better. to demand no. justice for their homeland. No. As thousands there fight to flee Taliban rule. I have family members there and I know many people who have family members there and it's hard, it's really rough. Nilab Habibza says it is her duty to speak out. They don't feel safe at all. They need to get out of there. They want to get out of there for a better life, for the life that the United States has influenced for the Afghan people in the past 20 years. Some gathered here in Portland's Monument Square were even afraid to be on camera, fearing for their loved one's lives. This little girl's father is still over there. This group calling for the U.S. to do more, including greater humanitarian assistance, an expedited visa process, and prioritizing women and children in the evacuation effort. President Biden speaking from the White House again Friday amid criticism for the botched withdrawal of U.S. troops, once again promising to get all Americans and allies out safely. We're going to do everything, everything that we can to provide safe evacuation for our Afghan allies, partners, and Afghans who, 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 who might be targeted if the, because of their association with the United States. But let me be clear, any American who wants to come home, we will get you home. But for these Mainers, many of whom once called Afghanistan home, that may not be enough. It takes not just the Afghanistan and the U.S., but the entire world to be able to sit down and have a conversation. Maine Senator Susan Collins also reacting tonight in a statement saying in part, my offices have heard from courageous Maine veterans who worked with Afghan translators. They fear their Afghan allies will be killed or blocked while trying to get to the HKI airport with their families.